<laughs> so as I assumed, WTF198 is trying to justify the gotcha video I put out on him. Okay, so what it was, was that he comes across like he's a millionaire. Like, I'm a millionaire, okay? He had to rent a boat. He calls it a yacht. See, can we can we first clarify this? It wasn't an effing yacht, WTF198. It was a friggin' cheap-ass boat under $10,000, you friggin' Mama Luke's do not. You high blood pressure, schlong, tiny, that doesn't work, mother effer. Get, get it straight that it wasn't a yacht. Okay, let's start with that. You rented a cheap-ass friggin' poor mother effing boat. Okay, that's what it is. With the fake friggin' neon lights. It was, it was nothing. It was a tiny boat. Okay, so he's calling it a yacht. He probably paid about $2,000 a night for a boat he could have bought for $8,000. Now, <laughs> his justification is he lives in Vancouver, I think he's a, Why would I went to Miami for a few days. Why would I buy a boat? Listen to me. If you were so rich and you had a top-notch yacht, mother effer, you could take that boat all around the world. That, let's, let's, let's say that, okay? If you had a real deal yacht... You could friggin' travel the world like Christopher Columbus, mother effer, okay? But listen, let's, let's put all of that aside, okay? If one, okay, I'm going to give the guy a little bit of the benefit of the doubt. If he would have at least been honest, he'd be like, look, I'm in Miami a couple of days, and I just want to rent out a regular boat. Fine. Like, I, don't, I wouldn't even say nothing to him. But to call it a yacht, to call it a yacht, if I lie down on that boat, I would take up the whole boat. If I just lie down, just <laughs> if I had a steak in my hand, the steak would be in the water and a friggin' shark would probably eat the friggin' steak. That's how small that boat was. If I lie down with a steak in my hand, the steak would be in the water. Okay. Now, here's the thing, WTF, that you don't understand, 198. You can't claim that you're a millionaire unless you give factual proof. That's the thing. You understand? There has to be evidence. You cannot make a video. This is what this moron does. He makes a video showing, you know, a portfolio. It could be anyone's portfolio. He just got it off of Google, friggin' Photoshop. Okay. Makes a portfolio saying that I have over a million dollars in equity. But try to understand something. This is his justification. I'm not going to give out my name. No way. What do you think? I'm crazy? Okay. But then you can't make claims. That's it. Look, when you don't use your name, it's a double-edged sword, okay? In one way, it's a good thing, right? Because you protect your privacy or whatever it is that you have. You don't have any privacy because you live in a basement apartment with your parents. But let's, let's put out, let's, the only privacy you have is a couple of cockroaches interrupt you once in a while who help you pay rent, okay? But, but let's, let's put all that out aside for a second. Listen to me. You can't show a portfolio that has no name on it and claim it's yours. Because if that's the case, listen to me, remember Commander 35? Who remembers that, Mama Luke? Okay, once again, I made 1.5 million on Redbox. He makes these claims. Never proves anything, right? He, he goes, points at buildings. He points at these big residential structures, right? I own that, he says. He goes to a commercial building. I own that. He goes to all these cars. I own that car, I own this car. Don't you see how that's like really mentally retarded? You don't see that? Can't we all... Look, if that's the case, I could go into Manhattan right now. Listen to me. And I could point to friggin' a tremendous amount of skyscrapers. I'll be like, guess what? I own that building. I own this building. I own that. WTF, if you don't have proof, if you don't have evidence, you cannot claim that that money that's showing in that portfolio is yours. That's the double-edged sword, mother effer. That's it. Get it through your friggin' skull, okay? You can't say you have a million dollars unless you prove it. It's the same concept with this friggin' Tyrone and Jamal Boy Toy Lou, okay? J. Lou, okay? Uncle Festa, okay? Everyone's saying Lou owns a penthouse, okay? Here's the thing. I saw the videos. It looks like a Section 8 apartment, first of all. It's a tiny apartment. I don't know where you're getting penthouse. It look, looks like a tiny apartment. But here's the thing. There's no evidence of it. There's no proof. There's no proof. You know, you, you look online under Lou's name. We all know his name. I'm not going to give that mother effer any type of friggin' clout. But here's the thing. It doesn't show up. Nothing shows up that Lou owns, owns any real estate. And that would be a public record. You look me up, I understand you're like, oh, ain't for the union mother, 
it's your mother's out, whatever. But at least you have some form of evidence. You look up, you could see that a trust was open for my children. There's evidence. There's some kind of proof. There's no proof with WTF. The guy puts a friggin' picture, a screen, a screenshot of something he got off Google, claims it's his money, but then he gets upset about it. His whole justification is this. Well, I'm not going to give my name. Well, if you're not going to give your name, you can't make a claim. And that's the way the game works. You understand? Mr. Friggin' uh, Schlong, that, that friggin' doesn't work. Okay, go get some Viagra. <laughs> go get a friggin' pump. There is friggin' cures for your friggin' uh, ED. There is cures for it. But what there isn't cures for is you're the delusional one. He says, I'm delusional. No, I'm not delusional because I'm pumping out content. I'm pumping out videos. Pump up the content. Pump it up while your feet are stumping. I'm pumping the content, mother effer, and I'm going to get to one trillion views. That's not delusional. You're delusional, Mr. Fake Millionaire. Ooh, I rent out a friggin' $6,000 boat. I'm a big shot. <laughs> You're a, you're a friggin' loser because you're probably paying, you're probably paying 50% of what the boat is worth for one day rental. The boat's probably worth friggin' 6,000. The guy's renting it for 3,000. He's renting it for 3,000 a day. That's called being a stunad. This video is not financial advice. I'm not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.